the Air Force as a whole, we have our fighters, we have our bombers. They're going out performing their missions on a day-to-day -day basis, and they want to have that sense of security that if they go down behind enemy lines, they have someone that can go in there and pick them up. Uh, so the 55th, we're the rescue vehicle operating the HH-60 helicopters to go in and pick them up. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without the 55th RGS uh, providing us tails every day. The mission of the 55th Rescue Generation Squadron is to give pilots at the RQS the best aircraft we possibly can so they can do our mission and accomplish the training they were required to do. The importance of this unit, the 55th, is that we can do combat search and rescue, and that's also including civilian search and rescue. So we are able to save people who are down in combat or members of the United States who get lost in, in a dangerous situation. We're there to pick people up when their absolute worst day happens, right? Like we, we're gonna be the guys that are coming to get pilots that go down, no matter what the, what the parameters are, like that's what we do. Being in the 55th for me, it's more like a family if anything, because the mission and the direct impact of what you do is like, like very transparent. You can launch a helicopter and know that it's going to potentially save someone's life. And I think that helps people stay motivated here and, and ultimately happy. We do our best to try to stay at the peak of rescue at all times. In the last three years, we've performed five stateside rescues and three African rescues, saving both civilians in the United States and Ugandan forces overseas. We've also sent humanitarian aid to assist during hurricanes, such as Hurricane Katrina in Louisiana. And we've always done our best to make sure that wherever there's a problem, that our helicopters can make it there. Cujo 5-1, this is Stalker, stand by for information. Cujo, stand by. TOT 2-0.